breakdown. I'm here with Alexia Grace. Hi. Hi. Can you do me a little intro? You're like, hi. Yeah. Hi, I'm Alexia Grace. <laughs> I love it. I was thinking about that all morning. I was like, I know exactly what intro I'm going to do with you. How are you? You're looking smaller. I know, I'm tiny. She's she stripped me down. What do you? What were you before? I was like 54, 55, and now I'm 50, just below 51. Well, I'm actually 50.2 now. Oh, so you're dead on weight. You're underweight. I'm, I'm underweight now, yeah. And I saw what you had last night. It was like some vegetables and like the saddest chicken wrap I've ever seen from Nando's. Yes, yes, it's depressing. I can't wait to eat some nice food. I know. What are you going to have straight after the fight? A burger, I think. Do you know what? Because I've been on this diet for so long, I'm not even missing it anymore. Yeah. So from, so you've been training what? Six months for this fight. And have you been on a diet from day one or? No, 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 no. So I've just been eating like healthy not I've always been a healthy eater but probably the last well I think it was about um I think it's the end of August I started it because that's when they you know asked us to come on this so probably about two months I've been on this diet now yeah and it's been how absolutely f***ing awful but how is it working with Sandy Ryan like she's in uh, in no. your squad isn't she she's at your gym yes she is she'll be here uh, on Friday um, I'm so lucky to be training with a world champion. Like, I've been going out to Portugal, doing her like with her in her training camp for her a massive fight. I think I, I really don't think people are expecting what I'm going to bring. Yeah, I mean she's robbed undisputed. Like she should be yeah. undisputed right now. That fight in Orlando was absolutely. I can't believe the results. So the fact you've got her by your side, you've got a world champion, you've got that mindset being drilled into you, and you've got all of you can see how hard she works, and you know exactly like this is what I need to work, um, the standard I need to work to to get results. So is, that's definitely helped you on this journey. Yeah, I mean, 100%. I've, I've seen how she trains, and I speak to her all the time, and she's really proud of the way I've been training, and that's saying a lot for a world champion, to be proud of the way you're training when I'm just an influencer boxer. Do you know what I mean? And I don't... And, yeah, Astrid might have been doing this longer and whatever, but I don't think she's putting the work I'm putting in. Yeah. Like, even just the diet, like, I understand she's got to come up in weight, but eating a fucking Subway? No. Like, eat, like, high-density food, like pasta or something. Yeah. Does it kind of is there doubt in your mind because obviously you've been boxing for a lot less time she's had two fights now she's somewhat more experienced than you and also the pressure of this card you're going to be fighting and potentially in front of like a full stadium 20,000 people you've got this opportunity on the prime card for your debut and a belt opportunity that yeah. you could come back with a belt is that added pressure I mean Obviously, I'm going to be nervous, I'm only human, but Astra's got so much more pressure on her. I've had six months training, I've never had a fight in my life, and I'm Alexia Grace, like, come on. She, if she loses to me, she's going to be a laughing star. Yeah. Do you know what? I do think there is a huge benefit for being the underdog, because you could be the upset of the night, and when that happens, the amount of eyes you have on you is a lot more, and it just blows your socials, and it just proves everyone wrong. Is yeah. that what you're willing to do Saturday night? You want to prove everyone wrong to show that you are better than Astrid, it doesn't matter how long you've been working, but how hard you've been working. Yeah, I think I'm gonna prove everyone right, regardless of if I win or lose. Like, people think I can't box at all, yeah. so I'm gonna go in there and show them I can box. So whether I get that win or the lose, I'm still gonna prove people wrong. Yeah, no, I see it, I saw your, your workout, it looked good, you look really good. And also I like how you showed different variety, you didn't just do pads, you were shadow boxing, you took your time in there, you enjoyed it. You're not, you don't seem to be nervous in front of the camera, like this is daunting, this is your first time. Like, look how huge this stage is, and you just took it head on, I love that. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I did that wet promotions week. I mean, I gained so much confidence from that. I was very nervous on that. My open workout was horrific because I was nervous. This time, I just, I'm just telling myself, I've got, she's going to be so much more nervous than me. I've got nothing to lose. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I don't want to keep you here all night. I know that you've got tons of interviews, but good luck. I'll see you throughout the week. Thank well done, you. Well done. Thank you.